Thank you. Let's start with the bonus story then. So the Barclays is the last of these, that, or the most recent one we've heard of. Is this something that is sort of flowing transatlantically and will it spread in Europe? Yeah, that's sort of the time of year. So what we're seeing is, you know, you saw Goldman and JP Morgan talk about their deal makers. Uh, basically, those bonuses up to 40, 50 percent above last year. And then yesterday, you had Barclays saying for its whole investment bank, so that includes traders, it's looking at raising its bonus pool by more than 25 percent, which suggests they're basically on track mm. with the the big U.S. banks. Okay, so this is keeping up with the keeping up with the with the stateside uh, contingent. The work from home narrative spreading in the other direction. So that seemed to be more dominant a few days ago in London. Now we hear more about that in the US. Yeah, exactly. Right across Wall Street, we're starting to see basically what we saw in London maybe you know a week or two ago with firms guiding employees, you know, look, you need to be working from home. Citigroup is another firm that's done that. So yeah, it looks like uh, Wall Street will look a lot like the city of London in the next few days. OK, and some of that high frequency data giving that message. Just briefly, HSBC, a, a, a fine here. Yeah, exactly. So the FCA has come out today and said we're going to fine HSBC, or HSBC UK units, 64, 65 million pounds, mm. and that is, you know, for money laundering failings. And that's just after they find NatWest. Uh, I think it's pretty much a record. Uh, I want to say 240 million pounds. Uh, so really, the FCA is starting to show its teeth, and this is all part of kind of a change at the regulator to be a bit more assertive and and uh, a bit more American, actually.